Welcome back to the FC24 Player Career Mode Series. Today we're starting off with some insane matches here in the Euro Qualifiers. We have Italy coming up first, who is currently sat number one in the table. Obviously, at the end of the last episode, we did pick up like a 48-day injury. So we are almost back for that, and I think we're going to be featuring against Italy in this very, very important match. And we're going to have to do our best, guys, to obviously qualify for the Euros. It is something that I really want to play. Uh, but you know, they gave us like the hardest group that I've ever seen, so it will not be easy. But if we can get some good results in these two next matches, I think we will be able to uh, qualify. So let's go ahead and add just uh, these uh, drills and we'll get a little bit of uh, trading done. This will be my first match back in like literally almost two months of not playing. So I might be a little bit rusty, but let's take a look and see how... It is going against Italy. We get subbed in in the 55th minute. And as we can see, we are 1-0 down. And for some reason, Holland is not playing today. So, maybe he's injured as well. If Italy get one more goal, then it's going to be very difficult. But uh, here is Norway. Come on. Sheldrup over to Sander. That's a good touch. We keep going with it. I'm going to hit it myself. And Donnarumma makes the save. Oh, Italy now, that is uh, very close. Come on, we need to get it up quickly. Let's see what we can do from this attack. We, you know, didn't get subbed on, so we have uh, quite a bit of stamina. We can try to run in behind. Here we go. Björkan. And that is terrible. I mean, why are you trying that? We're stressing way too much on the ball. And now Italy seems like they might have control in these last minutes of the game. Unless something really crazy happens now. Then uh, Italy are going to get all the three points. But look at this, Ødegård! Maybe this was the crazy thing that could happen. Sander and... No, Donnarumma makes the save. Is that going to be a corner? Alright, that is going to be the final thing that happens in this game. Bring everybody up. Get the keeper up for this one. Everyone. There we go. Come on, they're going. Good delivery now, please. Sander is there. And no. It is over the goal. And guys, we are not able to uh, equalize against Italy. Which means that uh, they do get all the three points today. Now we're just going to have to hope that uh, Spain can drop a little bit of points. Because uh, we actually face them next. And they are also a very big threat, you know. We are still second, but Italy now are, uh, you know, sort of going away from uh, the rest of this group. So they are almost safe already to make it out. It's going to be between Norway and Spain, I think, to get this uh, next spot. So let's go ahead and advance, guys, into the next one. We're getting subbed in in the 55th minute. And as we can see, Holland has missed the penalty. Norway are 1-0 down. We need to get an equalizer and hopefully all the points today. At least this game is being played at our home stadium. I cannot really remember how it went against Spain when we played them away, but I think we lost it. So, yeah guys, we um, we have to try to take that to our advantage. Come on. That's a good pass. Sander running through the Spain defense. Can we score? And yes, we have. But we need to get the ball and try to get more goals. I actually do remember now, we did beat Spain at their stadium. Uh, I remember because the Spain supporters were booing like crazy, so... Yeah, we have beat them once, why not again? Here is Spain, and they hit the crossbar! So close to retaking the lead here. And maybe ending our uh, Euro chances. There, it's not over, Gavi have scored! And Spain is back in the lead. This is a big problem, guys. Big problem. Here comes Pedri, our Barcelona teammates, into Ferran Torres, who is another one of our teammates. Somehow, Spain have not scored that chance. I do not understand how they haven't scored it. Come on. Can we go all the way? Sander, into anyone? Solbakke. Alright, we'll uh, take the corner kick, but 
this is starting to look bad for Norway. It is actually me on this corner, which is uh, interesting. Let's see if we can find anybody. And Holland, come on! Holland have scored! One of the most important goals! Oh, wow! From our corner kick as well, somehow! That ends up to Erling Holland. We have to take a look at this replay because that was not good from the Spanish defense. It was complete chaos. Look at this. I mean, it gets cleared almost on the line and then, you know, the, the communication is not there between the defenders. So Erling Haaland with one of the biggest goals for Norway in recent times. Come on, a few minutes left now. Could still be another goal here. Hopefully not for Spain. And here is Ferran Torres. And we know he is dangerous. There we go. Look at that defending. Can we get this one up? And Sander. I've got a little bit of space here now. Imagine if we can finish the game. No way. Norway make the Full comeback in the 90th minute. One of the best endings to a match in a very long time. And from literally just a few minutes left to getting no points. Now we're about to walk away with all three. We end up getting the Man of the Match trophy, complete all of the objectives. And we are soon going to be starting matches as well for Norway. But uh, that was absolutely huge. Um, let's let's take a quick look at the table before we obviously continue now with the Barcelona uh, That puts us up to I mean we are still second but the Spain in the third now on six points So even if we lose a match guys, then we are gonna be fine Obviously we have played some very tough matches as well I now know why uh, Holland was out for that game against Italy by the way It's because he received a red card in the game before Anyway, now we are back with Barca, and uh, yes guys, obviously we are returning from injury, so we're not going to be starting matches. Uh, let's take a quick look at the table. We are third, uh, two points behind the uh, number one place team, so we just gotta, you know, keep uh, getting victories here. And we're 1-0 up in the 77th minute, so this one should go our way. Can we get to this one first? And there we go. We've done very well, and uh, we're just going to keep running here. We have lots of stamina. Let's give it to Ferran Torres. And we get it back somehow. And it's gone in, guys. It is too powerful for the keeper. And what a substitution from the manager. It is nice to be back for Barca after being out for such a long time due to that injury. And we're right back to the goals as well. There we go, job done, and um, it is nice to get uh, right back into the goals as well. You know, after being out for that long, you might be a little bit rusty, not getting goals for a few games, but it seems like we are, uh, you know, just as good as what uh, we did before we obviously picked up this uh, injury. So, we're just gonna work uh, towards getting back into this starting 11. It's not gonna happen overnight, but, uh, you know, we will uh, be back in, uh, in the trainings and... Um, you know, hopefully within a couple of weeks time, we will be starting matches again. Up next though, we have a UCL game. And as we can see from our group, we have won all four matches. We are pretty much guaranteed to already make it into the next stage. But uh, if we can just get one point or more from this game, that means that we are confirmed to finish first in our group. So that is hopefully going to give us a bit of an easier, um, you know, round of 16. But we're up 1-0 as well, so this is looking very good. Oh no, here is Dinamo Kiev. Good look at that from Ter Stegen. Finish that one. And what a save from the goalkeeper to deny us another UCL goal. Maybe from the corner kick. Kimmich, Sander jumps high. And almost for Fati. Here is Dinamo Kiev again. Big chance, and they have got their goal. I mean, it was coming, but we have been making some bad decisions in this game too. Giving them easy chances. The game is over, and that is the first match this season in the UCL, which um, we do not win. So, 
We get one point, which means we are confirmed to finish the number one in our group. Nothing can change that, but, you know, a little bit disappointing not to get uh, another victory, because that would simply look a lot better. And I think the club also earns more money if you get, um, just get, just win the game in the UCL, so... Anyway, we uh, we are through, guys, which is very important. Now back to La Liga, and we've got Sevilla, who has 24 points. We're getting subbed in in the 61st minute, though, with 30 minutes remaining, and we are up 1-0, thanks to a goal from Pedri. Oh, that is a horrible pass, and now 1v1. And referee, how is that not a free kick for uh, obstruction? Here is Sevilla, this is dangerous, but what a block, it's not over, and they have got themselves the goal, with 10 minutes remaining. Nah, that is poor. Alright, we force a uh, mistake there, can we get a late goal, that would be incredible. I mean, we cannot be dropping many more points in this uh, title race. It's going to be costing us a lot. That is an insane pass from Pedri. And Sander cannot get it on target. Oh my god, that is incredible from Sander. Look at this. I'm going to hit it. And I saw Ansu Fati making the run. When I shot the ball, could have probably passed it, but, you know, I uh, I went for the shots. We have a corner kick. Could we maybe get a goal from this one? Sander jumps up, and that is absolutely huge. We pull out the celebration, and, I mean, what a moment. That could be huge, guys, in the title race. Again, a mistake from Sevilla, but uh, the referee blows the whistle and we get all of the three points. I just noticed that we have 17 million in the bank and uh, we know what time it is, guys. We have been saving up for this uh, private jet for a long time and obviously that is going to help us travel places without, you know, having to, uh, to wait uh, that much. Uh, you know, obviously when we have our own plane, we can... Uh, we can use it whenever we want, really. 30 minutes left of this game, and we are 1-0 down. That is terrible, so... Yeah, we need, literally, to score two goals there. The game is starting off with a free kick, and... Uh, uh, this is gonna be my first touch of the match. Let's see if we could do a madness, and... Oh my god! That is a really good attempt, to be fair. From a long distance as well. One day, guys, we'll finally get our first free kick goal. Obviously, if Villarreal scored, then it's going to be very difficult. And here they are. Oh, no. They've gone past way too easy. Sörlott, the Norwegian striker. Sörlott! Ter Stegen. Thank you so much. Come on, here we go. This is our chance. Hansu Fati plays it back. And now we need a long touch. Let's look around. I'm gonna hit it myself. And that is the goal. Get in there. One more now, guys. And uh, the comeback is complete. Oh no, here is Villarreal. And how has Ter Stegen not saved it this time? For some reason, he's saving the most difficult shots ever. But, you know, simple ones. I don't get it. Let's take a look at the replay here. What actually happened? It doesn't deflect or anything. I mean, it's a good placement, I won't lie. But, Ter Stegen, he kind of, like, misses the ball. So, wow. Now we are back under. Ah, Villarreal. It looks like it's gonna go their way. Play it into Sörlott. And their Norwegian has scored. And at home, guys, we are getting destroyed. I would bet a little bit of money that uh, we are about to hear some uh, boos around the stadium. The Barcelona supporters have big standards, which uh, 
they should absolutely but just listen to this they are not happy guys they are not happy so this is not good enough for Barcelona I said earlier in the season that I, I don't think this team has strong enough players for a title race and obviously if we uh, if we are able to be in a title race for, for a long time then I think we are outperforming what is almost expected here. I think even if Barcelona doesn't have the strongest team they always need to challenge for the title and other things. Anyway let's take a look at the calendar and up next we've got Dortmund and that is the final one before my first ever El Clasico. Which is going to be at Santiago Bernabeu. So I cannot wait for that. But now we are back in the starting 11 as well. Which is such a nice feeling. As we can see this is a much more important game for Dortmund. Because Benfica might still qualify if we can beat Dortmund here today. But that is going to be tough at this stadium especially. It's a nice ball over to Ferran Torres. And he gives it back. Come on Barca. Let's get the first one. What an attack this is. Oh, look at that. We fight for it. And now we are one-on-one -on -one against the keeper. And how do I not score? Uh, guys, 1v1s are like, in my opinion, the most difficult type of goal to actually get. It shouldn't really be. But I, uh, I have to improve those uh, situations. Could have had so many more goals if I were more composed in front of goal. That's why I respect like strikers make it look easy like Holland, like R9 did. I gotta make it so complicated. And here is Dortmund on the attack. Come on Pedri. He plays it up to Sander. Maybe have another opportunity here. Dortmund are actually having such a high line. It's unbelievable. We cut inside and back over. What a good save. Maybe the last chance before half time. Come on, let's see what we can do. And play that in, almost for Pedri. We have been subbed out at the half time. I think we are getting rested for that Real Madrid game because obviously this one here doesn't really matter that much. And it ends up being 1 1. So uh, that means that Dortmund might have not made it out of the group stages uh, if Benfica won their game. So uh, we will take a look at all of the results and stuff uh, later. Obviously, we have. Uh, the round of 16 draw also coming up in a few weeks time so I'm very excited to see who we're going to be getting there but um, we did pretty good in the group stages that is safe to say. Supporters await UEFA Champions League round of 16 draw. Um, let's see here. Bayern Leverkusen, Paris and Barcelona emerged as group winners with potential visits to come from runners-up Arsenal or Marseille. Guys if we get Arsenal again and face our former club in the round of 16 as well which is so big that would be um <laughs> that would be crazy i mean we also have a chance later on to maybe even face it by leverkusen who we also have obviously played for but now guys we have a big one this is my first ever el clasico i'm excited to look at this real madrid team because obviously they are not doing the best in the league they are sat the sixth and we know that they are not in the ucl this season so their squad probably is not as strong as it used to be but uh, we are starting this one, guys, at the Bernabeu. I'm seeing Jude Bellingham. I'm seeing Wurtz. I mean, we have played with Wurtz before. We know he's a good player. And Bellingham is still there. Am I actually seeing Luka Modric? There is no way he is still playing in 2027. I think we are in 2027, guys. Modric must be like 45 or something. How is he still playing and for Real Madrid as well at the top level? They've got the Sesco as their striker, who is uh, a very good player, and they get the first chance of the match. I still cannot believe Modric is playing for Real Madrid. I mean, maybe he could have played in like a lower league or something, but no. He is still playing at like the top level, which is insane. Come on. Look at the Bernabeu, by the way. Massive stadium. I've been here in real life before to watch the game, but uh, come on, Pedri. I believe this is my second time playing here because we obviously played for Arsenal in the Champions League final. But uh, it's different now with Real Madrid supporters being here. 
Kimmich looks for Sander, but uh, Real Madrid clear it away. Frankie de Jong is also playing for Real Madrid. Chilwell as well. I mean, they do have uh, quite a few good players in here. Maybe missing some good attacking options though, but I believe Vinicius is at the club still. But looks like he could maybe be injured for now. Chilwell into Bellingham, and that is a huge save. Cannot get past, guys. That's uh, pressure. Courtois. They also have Lissandro Martinez, I think, there in defense. Very good uh, team still. And here is Drew Bellingham. Oh no. We know that can be dangerous. But, uh, good defending, guys. Get it out of there. No! What is going on, guys? What am I seeing? So far, guys, I haven't been able to do anything at all in this game. Real Madrid have been uh, playing very good today. And uh, are they going to get another chance from this attack? There we go, Pedri. Come on. Frankie de Jong, former Barca player. How can he go from Barcelona to Real Madrid? That is wild. But look at this, they are just passing it around, everyone! Uh, we are so bad right now, this is disgraceful. And we deserve to go 1-0 down as well. Nah. This is so bad, Jude Bellingham makes it 2-0. And I think we might have just kick-started Real Madrid's this season. We need to get a goal very fast if uh, we want to try to get anything out of this game. But uh, that does not look like it's going to happen. And now Vinicius Jr. is on the pitch as well. This could be even worse, but the Ter Stegen with a big save. 3-0 down and this would be a... I mean, it's already a massive disaster. Come on, get it out of there. Look, I mean, we lose the ball right after every single time. We cannot keep it for more than a few seconds. We haven't been outplayed like this in um, in any game so far this season. That I've played in at least. Look at this! Why, why is it so simple for them? What a save from Todibo, but... Ah, uh, this is shocking. Yes, there we go, Cancelo. Can we find Ansu Fati? Yes, we can! And he hits the crossbar. What an attempt. And we almost get back into the game. Sander now, and we've scored! Against Real Madrid. Come on, that is better, guys. Maybe Barcelona have finally woken up. Come on, Sander. Can we get through here? This would be a huge moment, and we calmly place it in the bottom corner, and we score to silence the Bernabeu. What a moment for Sander. And I mean, a draw, guys. We will take that after being 2-0 down in the second half. Oh no, all of a sudden Real Madrid on the attack, but Barca wins it back, and now, come on, one more attack. Two minutes added. Sander running through one goal. Could this be our greatest moment so far? For Barcelona and no. It will not. Imagine a hat trick at the Bernabeu. Last chance of the game. Kimmich into Sander. Okay, we still have one more corner. Come on. Jump up and saved on the line. Lewandowski. What am I seeing? Crazy drama. But it ends. 2-2. I'm gonna end the episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. What an ending to that game. And we are still projected to get 52 goals. Even after that injury. So if we keep going as we have done. You know, we could beat Messi's record. That would be insane. Uh, that would surely guarantee me a Ballon d'Or. No doubt about it. But 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for the great support on this series. Make sure to check out all of the episodes on this playlist right there. But that is it for now. I'll catch you in the next one.